What? What's up, y'all? My name is Kiwi, and I am a rapper, MC, and I'm also a community organizer here in San Francisco. MCing was the last thing I wanted to do. You know, when I first discovered hip hop, it, I was probably about six years old. Um, listening to uh, a radio station in LA called KDAY, it was an AM radio station, and um, that's when I first heard uh, rapping. It's the last seconds and we coming through in the clutch, make you feel like it just got hit with two in the gut. And at that point, I just knew I wanted to do whatever it was that was going on, you know, so um, I got into break dancing. Uh, I didn't quite have the physical skills to uh, succeed in that, so uh, I tried doing the graph writing, and I got busted by the police one time, so couldn't do that anymore. You know, being the Filipino that I am, I really, really wanted to be a DJ, but I, at the time, I just didn't have the resources to get equipment, and so my last option, if I wanted to do this hip-hop thing, was to be an MC. Christine, young queen from around the block, walking through the neighborhood to the sounds of pop. If you seen her off the top, you would say she looks so lovely. But every day she tell herself she was so ugly. Say her butt was too big, nose too flat, skin too dark and lips too fat. Some of the issues I talk about in my songs definitely come from a Filipino American point of view. You know, um, you know when we talk about just colonization and how it affects us even you know thousands of miles away from our homeland um, you know talking about like being living here as people of color um, in America and you know that experience in terms of uh, you know discrimination um, and I feel like even though I talk about it from a Filipino perspective I also feel like it it reaches out to other communities of color other other working class communities, other communities who, you know, who feel like they've been, um, you know, oppressed. One of the most memorable things that I've done as an artist is, um, you know, over the summer 2007, I went to the Philippines. I went there, like many people, to visit my family, but I also was able to do um, what they call an exposure trip. So I was able to visit a community um, in the Philippines that folks are doing organizing in, um, in Kalaokan City. The way that trip to the Philippines changed me is that, um, you know, I, I already knew about the conditions in the Philippines. I know there's a huge human rights emergency there right now. I do understand my, um, you know, the privilege that I have, um, you know, being here as a Filipino in America. I also um, recognize that I have a, a little bit of a burden as, a, as a, somebody who has roots in the Philippines to always be thinking about the homeland. My latest project was uh, this kind of mixtape. Uh, it's called a Summer Exposure Mixtape. Now I'm working on just the, the full-length Kiwi album. Uh, don't have a name for it yet. It, there's two names. It's either it's going to be called The People's Pistol or um, Nothing Ever Stays the Same. Again, it's going to be real introspective. I feel very accountable and responsible in making sure that um, you know, that I'm representing our community right, but that I'm also honoring hip hop, you know, because hip hop really gave a lot to me, you know. Hip hop really saved my life, so I feel like the best way I can pay hip hop back is to, you know, make music that's really honest and, um, you know, that's, um, you know, that has longevity, you know. And so I'm really hoping to do that with this album. <laughs>